Welcome to Breaking Down the Dashboard. Uh, we found some weird items from a distance in the dashboard, so we decided that one, we got to get some of those wires out of there, and we wanted to take a look-see. Yeah, I'm not cutting the dashboard. What I'm actually cutting is a, is a screw that wouldn't come undone. It was all rusted out. So we're just basically grinding the top off so we could pop it off. Uh, yeah, you can see it's pulling out all kinds of things. We found some weird items in there. Kids are weird. Yeah, you gotta love those viruses. So, yep, you can see the guts behind the, uh, the instrument panel. And we just continue taking things apart. Now, we did take a lot of pictures during this process. Uh, not as many as I should have taken. But we did take a lot. Um, and we had to, to disconnect, um, well, pretty much everything. So, we labeled as we disconnected. Some of the wires ran through different parts of it, so we had to cut them. And one of the methods we used was to take like blue tape as an example and tape a four inch section of the wires and then cut about the two inch mark right in the middle of it um, so that we could see that these went back together but before we did that we made sure that in that wire we taped together that there weren't two wires the same color so oh look trash all kinds of nasty yeah but we broke it down because we wanted to get in there and get out any um, things. Yes, I know we don't like to talk about it, but uh, oh yeah, look at that. That's the the exhaust or the defrost for the driver's window, rotted. We replaced that too. Um, but these buses they sit in places waiting to be sold, so they do get mice in them. And we actually not in the dashboard, but underneath it, we found a a uh, let's say one that's no longer breathing. Yes, it was a mummified little mouse, so we had to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, then we take everything out, start pulling all of us off, and uh, start prettying everything up, getting everything realigned and nice and nice and purdy. Yeah. So, yep, that is one of the uh, the air brakes. You know, on your dashboard, where you pull the air brake out. This is the, I'm just showing the part, so you want to make sure there was a pin we had to pull out of it. And we just tapped it gently. It did come out. Okay, okay. So then what we got to do, let me grab the camera. Sorry for the shaking. But what we're going to do is, we bought some, uh, it's a plastic spray. It's like the plastic dip, you can dip tools and things like that, but this comes out in a spray can. We're going to scrub this up, clean it all out, and then we're going to spray it black. Give it a new plastic coating. Um, buddy of ours, he did some stuff with that plastic coating. A Black Eagle Navigator. Black Eagle Navigator. You should check him out. I don't know if he has a channel or not, but uh, he at least is on Facebook. I don't think he has a YouTube channel. But uh, Black Eagle Navigator, he's a pretty cool kid, pretty cool guy. Uh, and that's where we're at. Pop it in again. We actually cut a hole in the dashboard so that we could have access to undo a lot of the wires. Uh, this is us just putting it back. The top of our dashboard ultimately is going to have a piece of wood across it, so you're not going to see this. Um, but it did give us access points so we could reach in to uh, un disconnect wires and um, things like that. Uh, kind of had to have it. So we, uh, we washed it up real good. Now I'm using the ever high-tech blower. Yep, just turned it on and then blowing out the water on the inside. The red you're seeing, that's a, a rust primer, heavy rust primer. Uh, we, we did sand it down and put a lot of heavy rust primer on it. And now we're making it party with some, uh, some well, black spray paint. And we just go around and make it party. Okay. okay, so this is the air duct for the defrost. Amazon. Okay. Uh, it gets attached with these. We're going to 
replace the old one because it was pretty much trashed. But what we got is we're going to put the we're going to place the larger portion of the dash back into place. I'm not going to bolt it down yet until we know the engine and everything electrical works because it covers up some of the wires. Um, but we're going to start putting it back together. This is part of the process. So this part actually slides in over there under the driver's window because it defrosts that part, the driver's window. So you're not going to, be able to see much, but I'll show you what we can and we'll talk about it as we're doing it. Um, other than that, enjoy the show. Or enjoy our back sides because that's what you're going to see a lot of. Ego pops. Yeah, it's time to put it back together. Uh, it took several days to get it all painted. We did several coats and I let it cook. It was a little chilly, so we had to let it cook a little bit longer. Um, we are moving the the, the hose in. Uh, this is us putting in the, the newly refurbished dashboard. And remember that hole we put in the top? That's why we had it, so we could reach in and reconnect all those wires. Um, from time to time, we also had to pull out the, uh, the camera and look at all the pictures we had taken. Yeah, we put this all together and reconnected all the terminals and everything. And there was this one tiny, tiny, tiny little connection that we did that we missed. Um, so we couldn't get any dashboard indicators. Yeah, uh, it actually took us several days, and then we kind of accidentally found it. Because um, Pop says, well, did you look over there? And I said, no. And then I looked, and oh, went, oh darn. Yeah, it was just one little wire, like a 22-gauge wire, and it was all the dash lights. So we got it all back together. Uh, just take your time, and uh, just use the, see, my phone's always close to me, because I take a lot of pictures, and I'm looking at the picture. Yeah. That was probably the most important part to do, is take lots of pictures and label everything clearly. So, put it all back together. Whew. This was mind-blowingly frustrating. Because um, there's, as you can tell, tons of stuff. Uh, the, the pictures we took were critical for this. Um, and it's daylight, but you see the flashlight. Because down in there with all, this, all those wires moving around and everything, you still got to make sure you get everything connected properly. Because um, i got to be able to see in some of those little dark spots. Uh, I should have taken more pictures, though. Um, well, thanks for watching. Stay nerdy. Always look for a friend in me. Wait, you have a friend in me? No, what's that movie? Toy Story. Toy Story, yeah. Yeah, Toy Story. So we'll always look for Toy Story because he loves Winnie the Pooh. What? Stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>